I'm working on this uh, branch grinder. Uh, it was making a bit of a weird noise. Sort of a ticking noise, even uh, uh, also when I uh, turned it on. Uh, it's a Croson uh, brand, which I think is a decent brand. It uh, comes with five year warranty. And this is a uh, 2011 model. Uh, And here are the details. I already uh, removed uh, the rods, uh, putting uh, the two halves together. And uh, this look of, uh, on the inside. Just a capacitor and a uh, safety switch. Uh, zero cross uh, switch. This is a half uh, which is folded over. Uh, I was uh, working on it. I uh, want to make special uh, designated grinder for uh, carbide uh, scraping blades. And uh, one of these bearings uh, came out, but not the one uh, which is making the sound. So I'm just uh, uh, carefully uh, get it open. These bearings are uh, 6202Z, uh, uh, two of them. I'm not sure if I should uh, tap uh, the axle out. Uh, something I did notice was a uh, uh, difference in the shaft diameter. I think, or uh, at least one of my bushings didn't fit uh, properly. And uh, I hope, uh, I mean, uh, this uh, bearing is recessed and this one still sticking out a bit. Try to hammer it in with a a uh, special ring I made for it. Um, there is one of these uh, typical Chinese uh, vibration generators. I don't want to fold away these uh, these flaps. I think it would uh, permanently permanently uh, do some damage. Bit easier than I expected. Can't pull the rotor out uh, through the hole. By the looks of it. Ah. 
as we make a nice exploded view. Yeah, I was expecting uh, these bearings to be in a, in a recess in the casting, but it's just a through hole without a, a rim to uh, catch the, the rear of the bearing. Side of the casting, uh, right hand side. I think. This bearing uh, makes a bit of a rattling noise, rattling noise. Rotor. Uh, I'll just mark it. But uh, I think there's only one correct way to reinstall this. If you uh, look at uh, the uh, the threads, if they're uh, left or right hand threads. Escalated quickly.
not sure if this uh, not sure if this was part of uh, the grinder at one time Sure, if I have uh, uh, proper replacement bearings. But I have to go now, so I will continue this uh, later. First letter was uh, a scribe in it with a scriber, so there's a big scratch. Clean off the marking with some uh, brake cleaner and uh, my uh, special electric toothbrush. Uh, yesterday when I had to go, I went somewhere where um, they have one of these uh, grinders, uh, but it's used as a polishing machine. And it uh, didn't have uh, these types of uh, covers fitted. And uh, instead of these covers, uh, these sides had a, a small black plate. And uh, I realized these covers are used to uh, keep the bearings in position. Uh, they are fitted with this uh, wavy uh, spring washer. Both of them. So if I want to uh, use this machine... Uh, uh, well, uh, I should have uh, expected that uh, to fit. Um, if I want to use this uh, machine without a cover, then I have to make uh, a replacement uh, plate uh, to hold uh, the washer in, uh, which presses against uh, these bearings. And these bearings uh, are a bit noisy. Uh, I bought some replacement ones, uh, uh, proper brand, uh, there's an industrial supplier uh, nearby. And uh, there's a small difference in uh, shaft uh, thickness. This uh, ground part where the bearing uh, rests is about five, uh, uh, 500 uh, wider than this uh, side. Uh, 
and uh, these are my roofs to make no noise. And uh, at the supplier, uh, I asked for uh, the bearings, and uh, yep, it's readable. But it reads uh, 6202Z, but they are actually uh, 2Z or ZZ bearings. And I didn't realize uh, yesterday that uh, these uh, are labeled by side. So if you. Uh, the Z is just for the shield. So if you have two shields, they're not labeled as uh, 2Z. Uh, I will uh, press these off uh, with my uh, hydraulic press downstairs and uh, put the other ones on. I uh, put the rotor in a freezer for uh, about uh, two hours and I pressed uh, the new bearings on. It's uh, quite a different sound. Uh, now I'm gonna reassemble the machine. So here's an exploded view of my grinder. Um, on the outside on um, the rotor and there's a nut. On the left hand it has a left hand thread. Uh, otherwise it would undo itself. And then there's uh, two big washers and two cardboard rings uh, on each side of the grinding wheel. Uh, these cardboard washers are not optional, you have to have these. Uh, you can damage your wheel if you uh, don't add these and then the wheel can uh, maybe uh, explode or shatter and that's uh, something you uh, want to avoid here's a spacer ring uh, the new bearings are pressed on uh, the rotor and uh, same for the other side except the nuts on the other side here and this one is a uh, regular right hand thread uh, the rotor um, is held in uh, side these boards on the sides of the housing and uh, there are springs which are kept in place by these uh, plates so these plates are not optional on this model uh, I found that out uh, uh, I Decided I didn't want to use these, uh, uh, this one on this side, and then uh, I started having problems. And then I realized uh, these uh, bearings weren't uh, pressed into a, uh, a recessed hole, but uh, it's just a, a plain uh, bore. Uh, here are the uh, Drawing rods uh, which uh, uh, close the housing and uh, I think they have, uh, have to be uh, on a specific torque but I don't have a torque wrench so I'm just uh, gonna have to fiddle with it uh, perhaps. It's the base plate, a connecting screw for the, uh, the ground wire or the, the earth and just a handle here and that's about it. And now I'm gonna reassemble it. When I opened the machine I found one of these tabs and I think uh, it's one of these. It looks like they were uh, stuck on there with some kind of resin. Mm, on purpose uh, this is a machined edge and it may have been put there to uh, keep the core from this uh, edge. I hope this won't cause any problems. There was another one uh, which came away on this side. There's uh, two in a row missing. Uh, I'll uh, save this one and if the uh, grinder starts making uh, weird noises or giving problems then I may have to find a, a way to put it back. 
I have measured the distance between the two uh, sides of the casing and the uh, difference between the ends of these bearings and split the difference in two and made a, uh, uh, a spacer to uh, keep the bearing uh, on the right location. First I thought about uh, having just a small uh, ring for the outer rays uh, of the bearings. But I decided against it and uh, I'm going for a complete ring. Because I uh, do want to support the inner rays and not uh, have a load on the uh, balls. If I try to hammer in the, in the rotor and when it's... Uh, reaches its uh, location and uh, the whole bearing is supported. Uh, these are just uh, some items with holes in them. I already uh, connected the, the wires. I hope that wasn't... No. So it just pushes it. Uh, it's at the correct distance now. It's a good idea to put this on the front where it belongs. Looks better. So I expected a lot more problems uh, when I uh, was going to close this, but uh, it's kind of okay. These rods have a uh, weird end. Just a piece uh, of round bar with a slot in it to uh, be able to turn the ends of, uh, of these rods. This one is quite deep. Square nut is held in place uh, by two tabs in the casting. And uh, the bottom goes on uh, with two nuts in the, these uh, recesses. A 
also uh, the way I was thinking about uh, putting an equal torque on these uh, bars was just uh, turning this uh, by hand and holding the other one. But it feels like uh, they uh, lock up instead of uh, having a, uh, a bit of more uh, play in them. It's not the right way to describe it, but I don't think that what I mean. This uh, bar limits the amount of force I can put on uh, the ends of the, uh, these rods. Right. Uh, I've got one of these. However, this one uh, has a special safety switch, uh, which uh, uh, resets when the power is gone, so I can't start it uh, with the, the switch and uh, the, the socket. Right. And now I made a mistake. I should have <laughs> put the end caps on. Here in the yeah, let's unplug it first. So, that might be a smart idea. Bit of a weird noise. And I'm not sure what it is. There's nothing rattling uh, in there. Can't feel anything weird. on it, it's going to be harder to uh, adjust these uh, bolts. I wasn't happy with the noise the machine was making, so I uh, opened up the sides and uh, 
made sure the springs were uh, seated correctly in the bores of these uh, shelves uh, sides and I tightened it uh, back down and uh, really put some force on uh, the, the pull rods to uh, close up the, the housing and now uh, it runs uh, smoother so that uh, definitely helped and I think I'm gonna put on uh, the wheels I want to attach 